hi guys you're welcome back to my channel so i'll be showing you how i made this carrot soup that you have seen it is very easy to make and these are what we are going to need to make the soap please don't forget to subscribe to my channel when you subscribe don't forget to put on your notification bell so that you get notified so this is my carrot so medium sized carrot that i'll be using and i'll also be using soap base this is my soap base 100 grams of soap base and this is my vegetable glycerin so these are what we are going to be needing for our soap so what i'm going to do now is to rinse my carrots and after rinsing it i'm going to remove the back by scraping it off and after scraping off i'll come back and rinse it again before going to the next step so this is me scraping off my carrots right away and after scraping it this is what it looks like so i am going to rinse it again after scraping so after scraping the next thing you are going to do is to grate your carrots and it is advisable you use the small old size i'm showing you like the small face so that you can get more liquid if you want to extract your carrot so this is me after extracting my carrot i'm going to put it in, in my container right here as you are seeing right away i'm putting it in my container so after putting it into the container i am going to be adding my vegetable glycerin i will be adding three spoon three teaspoon not tablespoon if you are going to use tablespoon then you will not need up to three so i'll be adding three of it to my grated carrots and after adding the three spoons i'll mix it very well i'll make sure they mix very well and allow the carrot to soak into the glycerin for some time before proceeding to the next step so this is me mixing my carrot very well with my glycerin you mix it very well and after mixing you just keep it aside and you proceed to the next thing so the next thing i'll be doing after keeping my carrots aside is to, is to cut my soap base and prepare it so this is my soap base 100 grams or so of soap base you can get your soap base in your chemical store so you cut it into smaller sizes and after cutting you will transfer it into any heat resistant container that you have it is not compulsory you use but like my own any container that you know that it can resist it because we are going to be putting this on heat we'll be using the double boiling method the double boiling method is you putting water in the pot then now putting your heat resistant container into it and you allow your base to dissolve to melt so this is me just mixing my carrot again so after mixing it i'll go ahead and sieve out the liquid content from it and that is what i am doing right away and when you are trying to melt your base your soap base when you put it on heat don't just leave it there just go there once in a while stir it then you can continue with whatsoever you are doing so this is me trying to extract my carrots make sure you extract as much as liquid content you can get from it so this is what i got after extracting and this is me going to check my soap base I'm stirring it. I didn't just leave it there. So this is my soap base. It is ready. So what I'm going to do now is to add my carrots to my soap base. I am not going to pour it in directly. I'll be adding four spoons into my soap base. I'm not saying, oh, I have it in excess. I will just pour everything. No. So I'll be adding four spoons. And after adding the four spoons, the next thing you are going to do is to give it a thorough mixing make sure your carrot extract and your soap base mix very well and that is what i'm doing right now so i would advise you grease your soap mold or your container with coconut oil carrot or any oil of your choice that you have 
So I've greased my own and I'm adding my soap into it. That's what I'm doing. And you can see some bubbles on top of it. So I'm going to be removing those bubbles. Well, if you feel like you can leave them. So after removing the bubbles, I'm going to take my soap preparation into my fridge and freeze it for I think two to three hours. Yeah, and this is my soap after staying for two hours, 30 minutes. This is what it looks like. It is very hard. And this is me trying to wash my hand with my soap so that you will know that this soap is for me. Can you see it? Thank you so much guys for watching this tutorial to the end. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and don't forget to put on your notification bell. See you in my next tutorial.